Nicole Ward thought her uncle wouldn't wait in the ER for long. I went to the triage nurse and I was like, listen, you know, this is my family member. Um, it's likely they are septic. They're at high risk for infection. Her uncle has stage four bile duct cancer. The bile was accumulating in his body, but at Health Sciences Center ER, his condition wasn't severe enough for immediate care. They couldn't tell us how long, but that there were people with stroke and heart attacks in the hallways that had been there for a while, that there was someone with a broken hip in the hallway, that all the hallways were filled with people in gurneys, that there was nowhere to put them. He waited 48 hours. It left Ward in disbelief. You know, you see the signs all over here, right? Patients first. Right now, it's no one first. Over at St. Boniface Hospital, one physician's day was so difficult, he took to Twitter and said he thought for the first time of quitting. It's a hard thing and a devastating thing to feel when you when you stare back at, at, at your patient's eyes feeling almost like you've, you've failed them. The emergency room doctor says too many nurses have already left. Those who are left behind cannot keep up. A doctor's Manitoba survey says 67% of respondents feel distress. They cannot provide the necessary care to their patients. As hard as it is for me to see, I can't imagine what those folks waiting are feeling. He wants immediate support. Later that day, the provincial government announced long-term help a new simulation center for nursing students at Red River College Polytechnic, and also short-term help. We'll be looking at incentives that bring our agency nurses back to the public system, that bring our retired nurses back, and bring our nurses that may have resigned. Gordon says she'll have more to say on those measures, including cash incentives in around a week. The nurses' union has called for incentives for more than a year. Ian Fraze, CBC News, Winnipeg.